Oh, hello. Do you know me? I think I would have remembered. I... Have we ever met? Feels like a trap. Well, no. Never? Never. You see, I'm Mrs. Evelyn Mulray. You know Mr. Mulray's wife? Ooh. And since you agree with me that we've never met before, I've never hired you to do anything, certainly not spy on my husband. So who was she? No point in getting tough with me. I'm just I don't to... get tough with anyone, Mr. Giddies. My lawyer does. The lips, the hat, the nails, the lawsuit. Let's go. Hey, y'all. Thank you so much for having me back on Criminal Content. I am so, so excited to be watching more films with you, especially after the two Terminators. Like, I'm going to say across the board, I think those are going to be very hard to beat. But if something's going to beat them, I know Chinatown is a classic for a reason. I'm going in completely blind. I know nothing about it, just that I absolutely love the actors. Uh, the writing's obviously phenomenal. It won that Oscar in 1974. So I'm just really... Really excited, gonna jump into it. And uh, let's see if I can figure out this, this mystery alongside Jack. If you have not yet subscribed, make sure you please do. That way you can be notified whenever we're watching more films together. Like, let us know what you wanna see next. And uh, yeah, let's solve a mystery, y'all. And as always, to see that full watch along with all those fun features, head over to our Patreon and you can watch it along with me. Ugh. Seriously, something about just like a classic black and white sepia tone start away. Oh, I'm feeling this vibe a lot. Okay. This beginning score really like puts you in the zone. It's a little like sensual. It's a little sexy. I feel like I'm about to be pinning up stuff on a cork board. I feel like someone's about to walk into my office with like legs up to there, like asking me to, to solve some kind of mystery and I'm gonna have a cool hat on. Now I'm just like describing things that I wish would happen in my life. I am so excited. I'm so excited. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he's not happy. I'm guessing that's his wife. Oh. Yeah, bad day. Don't take it out on the blinds. Can't eat the Venetian blinds. <laughs> I just had them installed on Wednesday. I know we shouldn't smoke, but God, does he look cool right now? My husband, I believe, is seeing another woman. What makes you certain that your husband is um, involved with someone? A wife can tell. This is Mulray. What uh, is your husband's first name? Hollis. Hollis Mulray. Water and power? He's chief engineer. Ooh. Fancy. Chief engineer? That even got his attention. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. Oh, boy. The car and within 25 minutes end up smacking the Pacific Ocean. Now you can swim in it and you can fish in it, but you- I love that offset shot with the comics in front. Los Angeles is a desert community. Beneath the streets is a desert, and without water, the dust will rise up and cover us as though we never existed. Interesting, okay. wonder if the, anything with horses or gambling or racetracks is going to come in later. Now, the Alto Vallejo can save us from this. I suppose we'd better take water and power first. Oh, here we go. Gonna get a look. I'm gonna see if I get the vibe if he's cheating or not. Over 500 lives were lost when the Vanderlip Dam gave way. Core samples have shown that beneath this bedrock is shale similar to the permeable shale in the Vanderlip disaster. Couldn't withstand that kind of pressure. Mm, like your marriage? Another dirt bank terminus dam. Slopes of two and a half to one, 112 feet high and a 12,000 acre water surface. Well, it won't hold. I won't build it. It's that simple. Oh. I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. Ooh, I feel like that's going to come up again. Man, people get up on irrigation. Oh, this would be the best city council meeting I've ever been to. Tell me where to take him! You don't have an answer for that so quick, do you? I love that he has an actual shepherd stuff. Starved by livestock! Who's paying you to do that, Mr. Mulray? That's 
what I want to know. Ooh, are you in someone's pocket, Mulray? Are you in someone's pocket and that's why you've been acting fishy at home? Suspicious. I don't know, but he might just be going to look at the water levels and all of that. Okay, he's clearly like looking at the blueprints, the plans, in terms of feasibility, perhaps, or making adjustments to see how he could potentially get water there. I appreciate the level of fashion decorum for a man literally climbing on a sewage pipe. We need to dress up more often nowadays. I love that. Ooh. Ooh. I really hope that's from Mulray being like, hi. Okay, what is up with all the pocket watches? That's an interesting character thing. Smart, okay. So he'll be able to tell when he leaves. Nice. Very clever trick. Jeezy was there all night. I had to go back three times to pick up the watches. Very clever. Yesterday he went to three reservoirs, a men's room at Richfield gas station and the pig and whistle. The guy's got water on the brain. So he's feeling guilty or he's trying to figure out how to make it work. Maybe a combination. Someone's blackmailing him. Someone's... Well, they got into a terrific argument outside the pig and whistle. I heard only one thing, though. Uh, apple core. Apple core? Apple core? Yeah. Core of the dam. Core. Power. Power core. Okay, slow down. Where are you? No! If it's Mueller, I don't think it's actually what they think it is. I don't think he's cheating. Mm. What is that, a book and bill, Speaking Spanish? Jay, get it together. Ooh. I make an honest living. People only come to me when they're in a desperate hey. situation. I help them out. I don't kick families out of their houses oh, like you bums down at the bank, Jay. Why don't you do what the Chinese do? He says, what do the Chinese do? He says, the Chinese, they screw a little and they get tired. They <laughs> Duffy. I for sure thought that was going to end in a punchline. What, what was that? The guy says, well, the Chinese, first they screw a little bit, then they stop. They go and uh, read a little Confucius, come back, screw a little bit more. I feel like this guy's heard it already. Jake Walsh, just listen to oh, me hello. for a second. Then he goes back in, he starts screwing again. He says, excuse me for a minute, honey. Is this actually the joke or is he just riffing at this point? You're screwing just like a Chinaman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Gittes. Yes. What a look. Do you know me? No, but I want to. I think I would have remembered. I... Have we ever met? Feels like a trap. Well, no. Never? Never. You see, I'm Mrs. Evelyn Mulray. You know Mr. Mulray's wife? Ooh. And since you agree with me that we've never met before, I've never hired you to do anything, certainly not spy on my husband. So who was she? No point in getting tough with me. I'm just I don't to... get tough with anyone, Mr. Giddies. My lawyer does. The lips, the hat, the nails, the lawsuit. Let's go. So who wanted to implode his marriage? Possibly like taking him out. It makes far less sense that he was cheating on Faye Dunaway. Are you Mr. kidding Mulray? me? What a choice. Why don't I just go in and wait? Uh, sir. <laughs> no, no, no bother. I got this. Ooh, okay. A lot of checks going out. Seven channels used. Seven channels to the river, seven... Come to know his habits, his values. Come to know him. Mm -hmm. And either he's the kind who chases after women or he isn't. Mr. Mulray isn't. He never even kids about it. Well, maybe 
takes it very seriously. <laughs> I actually really like that. Do you mind if I take one of your cards in case I have to get in touch with you again? No, help yourself. <laughs> Over Hill, what are you doing here? Shut my water off. How'd you find out about it? You don't drink it. You don't take a bath in it. Ooh. Relax, Malva Hill. You know Claude Malva Hill here? Well, I hope so. He's uh, working for us. There have been some threats to blow up the city reservoirs. Man, he is chewing that cigar. Well, you're in luck, Mr. Yelburton. He ought to be able to hold on to your water for you. <laughs> the hot tip. This has to be the Mulray home. This is the home that power and water builds, man. JJ, get us to see Mr. Mulray. Don't think they uh, like it much here, Jake. Bad for glass. Yeah, bad for the glass. Yeah, figures. And he's checked out of his apartment at the Elma condo. That's not his apartment. Okay. The point is, is I'm not in business to be loved, but I am in business. And believe me, Mrs. Mulray, whoever set your husband up set me up. Mm. I'll drop the lawsuit. What? I said I'll drop the lawsuit. So let's just drop the whole thing. Ooh. I don't want to drop it. But I'm not supposed to be the one who's caught with his pants down. This phony broad, excuse the language, she tells me she's you, she hires me. Now, whoever put her up to it doesn't have anything against me. They're out to get your husband. Right. Sorry, close the public, sir. Well, uh, that's all right, officer. Uh, Russ Yelbert, deputy chief of the department. Nice. Sorry, Mr. Yelburton. Go on down. Okay. Man, some things before internet was around, like, absolutely worth it. Oh, I love it. How'd you get past the guard? Well, to tell you the truth, I lied a little. I have the credentials. You still putting Chinaman in jail for spitting in the laundry? Oh, he must have been on the department at some point. I'm out of Chinatown. Since when? Since I made lieutenant. Ooh. Congratulations. So why did Jake leave the force and go into private investigation? Hollis Mulray, you seen him? Yeah. I'd like to talk to him. He killed himself. Or he's dead. He's dead. You're welcome to try. There he is. Called it. <laughs> Not how I want to go. Looks like he was washed down the entire length of the runoff channel. Fade on the way. Hats two, husband zero. There is no possibility that he would have taken his own life. No. She got kind of a uh, dirty, I think. You and your husband never discussed her. He, he, he wouldn't tell me her name. We quarreled over her, of course. It came as a complete surprise to me. No, you're smarter than that. You wouldn't happen to know where I could find her. No. Or her name? No. Of course not. What an investigator. I sent you a check. A check? To make it official that I've hired you. Mm. Well, he knows how to create a paper trail. Which most innocent people don't. Interesting. Jake, what are you doing here? Love for a second. Morty, it's my lunch hour. I thought I'd drop by and see who dropped dead lately. Sure. Middle of a drought and the water commissioner drowns. <laughs> Only in L.A. Yeah. Very jolly for this job, sir. <coughs> Never better, except for this dark cough. You know I me. Mean, okay, he's got a cough. The other guy had a summer cold. Is the water contaminated or something? Is that it? It's causing, like, infection? Got drunk, passed out in the bottom of the riverbed. The L.A. River? Yeah, right under Hollenbeck Bridge. What's wrong with that? A lot, actually. It's not completely dry. Well, he ain't gonna exactly drown in the damp riverbed, no matter how soused he is. We got water out of him. He drowned. Is this why so many murders in LA go unsolved? Because this is who was getting our crimes done? Like... I mean, not impossible to drown in that, but like, come on. Ah, is this kid again? The water. What about the water? And it comes. Comes in different parts of the river. Every night a different part. Every night a different part. Like they're opening certain sections at once. Like when the water started going out of that one tube at night. It's doing that in different areas at different times for some reason. Ooh, 
Okay, so maybe it's not, they got caught in the wrong part of the river at the wrong time when the water happened to get released. You know what happens to nosy fellows? Wanna guess? Huh? No? Okay. They lose their noses. <gasps> oh, wasn't expecting that. Next time you lose the whole thing. Cut it off and feed it to my goldfish. I don't think goldfish are carnivores. Understand. I understand, Gil. I understand. All right. Holy shoot. That escalated so quickly. I was the one who pretended to be Mrs. Mulright. Remember? Shut the f*** up. Just look in the obituary column of today's L.A. Post record. The obituary column? You'll find one of those people. Those people, Miss... How do you like them apples? One of these things is not like the other. What are we looking for? Then you ask me to lie to the police. It wasn't much of a lie. If your husband was killed, it was. It looked like you paid me off to withhold evidence. But he wasn't killed. Yeah. And the wife tells me that she's happy that her husband is cheating on her. It runs contrary to my experience. Unless what? Unless she's a lesbian. She was cheating on him. Or that. Were you? Gonna need a smoke for this. I just like the word cheat. I prefer. Where were you when your husband died? With a boyfriend? I can't tell you. You were seeing someone too. For very long? I don't see anyone for very long, Mr. Giddies. Ooh, challenge. What does this C stand for? A cross. That's your maiden name? Yes. You must have had a reason to ask me that. No, I'm just a snoop. Because he's gonna look up your maiden name and your path, of course, what? Somebody's been dumping thousands of tons of water from the city's reservoirs, and we're supposed to be in the middle of a drought. He found out about it, and he was killed. You planted the seed, you planted the seed, we're gonna let it grow. But Mrs. Mulray, I goddamn near lost my nose, and I like it. I like breathing through it. And I still think that you're hiding something. When you're on, you're on. The secretary hates you, dude. Oh, the guy. Oh. Interesting. Mr. Yelberton will be busy for some time. There it is. You mean he owned the entire water supply for the city? Yes. How'd they get it away from him? Jamal Ray felt the public shit on the water. I thought you said Cross owned it. Along with Mr. Mulray. Oh. Yes, they were partners. And then he married his daughter. Maybe she had, like, a majority share. They were able to vote. Mr. Gillis, sorry to keep you waiting. These staff meetings, they just go on and on. Where's the staff? You hired me. Or you hired that chippy to hire me. Chippy? Mulray didn't want to build a dam. He had a reputation that was hard to get around. You decided to ruin it. Then he found out you were dumping water at night. Then he was, uh, drowned. Mr. Giddes, that's an outrageous accusation. But is it true? Dumping thousands of gallons of water down the toilet in the middle of a drought, that's, uh, news. Yeah, it is. As you know, the farmers out there have no legal right to our water, but we've been trying to help some of them out, keep them from going under. That doesn't seem right. Naturally, when you divert water, there's a little runoff. Not that much runoff. I don't want to nail you. I want to find out who put you up to it. Mm. I'll give you a few days. You're a cog in the machine. Sophie, you're the backbone of this office. Oh. You tell. How they plan to make it out of emptying reservoirs, that I don't know. Because they're going to sell it to people. I'll pay your salary, plus $5,000, if you find out what happened to Hollis and who is involved. When water's in short supply, people are going to buy it. Then you married your father's business partner. You've already got one going, Mrs. Mulray. You nervous? You know, the dam that broke. Oh, yeah? Yes. Hollis never forgave him for it. Hmm. You sure about that? Of course I'm sure. No, because he was in the photos. 
That was the guy he was fighting with that said the pick and whistle, right? Someone let me know if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that's right, though. The cane matches the cane, but like a lot of people probably use canes at this time period. Man, why don't detectives dress like this anymore? Why don't we all dress like this anymore? What a what a vibe. What a swag. Disturbs me. It makes me think you're taking my daughter for a ride. Financially speaking, of course. Huh? <laughs> Unlike your partner. My usual fee. What's the bonus if I get results? Are you um, sleeping with her? Weirdest lunch ever. Weirdest lunch ever. You're dealing with a disturbed woman who just lost her husband. I don't want her taken advantage of. That's not the vibe I'm getting. Here you go. $10,000 if you find Hollis's girlfriend. She disappeared, hasn't she? Yeah. It would be useful to talk to her. Be very useful if you're going to give me $10,000. You remember the last time you saw Mulray? Uh, my age, you uh, tend to forget. That's a lie. Five days ago, outside the pig and whistle, and you had one hell of an argument. Yep. I got the pictures in my office, if that'll help you remember. Love this line delivery. My daughter's a very jealous woman. How did you find out? I still got a few teeth left in my head and a few friends in town. If she's actually a jealous woman, then Mulray wouldn't have told her about him. Told her about the other girl. Is he lying? Is Dunaway lying? Are they both lying? We don't have Ventura County in our Hall of Records. Well, then I'll settle for Los Angeles County. Row 23, Section C. Never seen someone so bothered to do their job. Land sales out of escrow are always recorded within the week. And these are all new owners. That's right. Hmm. Well, that means that most of the valley sold in the last few months. Because they know that's where the water's going to be sent. They're selling the water rights with the land. <coughs> Love that. Jackie with your little tricks. Meh. Just a suggestion. They were not joking about that sign, man. Wow. Don't go into the- Ah! Wonder if that'll be covered in your bonus. <laughs> Get him with the chair! Oh. I said, see if he's on that empty his pockets. It's like you, I. You, hey, arm. <laughs> Who you with? The water department or the real estate office? You come near me with that thing again, you're gonna need a pair of them. Why don't you pick on somebody your own side? Y'all are pretty much the same height. I'm a private investigator. What you doing out here, mister? Getting beaten with a crutch? The client hired me to see if the water department was irrigating your land. Irrigate my land? The water department's been sending you people out here to blow my water tanks. They put poison down three of my wells. I call that a funny way to irrigate. Called it. Poison in the water. Zevlin Mulray. Mulray? That's the son who's done it to us. Mulray's dead. You don't know what you're talking about, you dumb okey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, he's over there just reading the paper. Mr. Goodis, every time I see you, you look worse. You didn't look too good. So we thought we'd better call your employer. Fair enough. Thanks for coming. That dam's a con job. Mm. But the water's not gonna go to L.A. It's coming right here. To the valley? Everything you can see, everything around us. In the last three months, Robert Knox has bought 7,000 acres and Jasper Lamar Crab 25,000 acres. Because they know that's where the water's going. Jasper Lamar Crab. Talk to your husbands and wives, y'all. Talk to your partners. You could save a life. What? We got it. What? What is it? A memorial service was held at the Marvist Inn today. One of those people. He passed away two weeks ago. Where is that unusual? At? He passed away two weeks ago, and one week ago he bought the land. That's unusual. It's almost bedtime. We understand. Come, my sweet. Emma Dill. They're all there. Every goddamn name. Okay, so they're naming, buying the under names of people who clearly aren't the what aren't aware. You're looking at the owners of a fifty thousand acre empire. Oh, they can't be. You may not know it, but they are. Are you Emma? Yes. 
The real question is, is Faye in on this? Where did you uh, get this piece of material? At the Abacore Club. Abacore? Uh, no, the Albacore. It's a fish. And it pays more than the skipjacks, let me tell you that right now. We're a sort of unofficial charity of theirs, Mr. Gitter. Someone wants to talk with you. Ooh, busted. You just got beaten. Ooh! <laughs> I, I need to know what the guy from the nursing home is doing right now. I think, uh, oh, yeah, no, wait, Faye's gonna grab that, uh, firearm. Ooh, he's gotta be in on it, too. Is he the one, like, supplying the names of the people in the nursing home? Ah, uh, no, not this guy again. Come on, Faye! Get away car, baby, let's go. Oh, what a team. That was sick. I love it, I love that moment. In Chinatown. What were you doing there? Working for the district attorney. Doing what? As little as possible. <laughs> it's a nasty cut. Oh, sorry. Yeah, is it painful? Not as much as when I got it. It's flawed. In the iris. You gonna go for it? He's gonna go for it. Jake, I thought we were gonna keep it professional. Oh my gosh. No, no, look, don't do anything. Don't do anything until I get there. Way to keep a poker face. It has nothing to do with you or with any of all of this. Where are you going? Trust me this much. I mean, you haven't earned that at all, but like also it's your life. So like he doesn't get to dictate that either. Oh, we'll never work between them. There's no trust. You saw my fa father? Yeah, we gotta work on our communication if this is gonna work. This morning. My father is a very dangerous man. You don't know how dangerous. Starting to get a vibe. It's possible. It feels a little obvious. I don't know. She has to be more involved. Please don't ask me any more questions now. Just wait, wait for me here. I need you here. You're gonna leave this guy who clearly cannot stop going through stuff in your house when you leave. Nah. Now she's in the white car. He's gonna probably be in something darker because now he's the one hiding. I like the contrasting of shades going back and forth between them based on like who's being more honest. I think that's really intriguing. Um, yeah, dark car. But he's still in white clothing, meaning he's still being like more upfront than she is, who has been mostly in black clothing. Oh, the girlfriend. She was on the entire time. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Is she the one who set up her husband? Uh, Mrs. Mulray, you've got your husband's girlfriend tied up in there. She wasn't technically tied She's up. not tied up. Thank you. You know what I mean? You're holding her against her will. Let's go talk to her. No! <sighs> not a great look. Upset. She's too upset. Hollis's death. I, I, I tried to keep it from her. I didn't want her to know until I could make plans for us to leave. It's not what it looks like, Mrs. Mulray. No, it doesn't. Just tell me the truth. I'm not the police. I don't care what you've done. I don't want to hurt you. I just really need to know. Jack's just here for the cheese me. She's my sister. Intrigue. Why all the secrecy? I, I, I can't. Is it because of Hollis? Because she was seeing your husband? She wasn't seeing him. He was the most gentle, decent man imaginable. Which is why he had to die. Case. Yeah. Who? The, the girl. Four eight and a half East Kensington, Echo Park. She begged me to call. She's waiting for me. Ooh. When you don't give him a chance to say no, you just hang up the phone. His wardrobe's getting like a little darker. Maybe he's becoming like jaded, a little shadowed, keeping some things in. Cabbage? She was putting away groceries and she was attacked, maybe? Ooh, ooh. It's a pretty big thing to throw into that third act, man. 
Look at you, Robert. Not a robbery. She's an actor, she's part of SAG. Find anything interesting, kiddies? What are you doing around here? Didn't you call me? How come you happen to know her? I don't. Isn't that your phone number? Mm. Well, just to make sure we had Loshi to give you a call. What happened to your nose, Giddy? Somebody slammed a bedroom window on it. <laughs> <laughs> Way to make the most of that screen time, bud. Your wife got excited. She crossed her legs a little too quick. You understand what I mean, pal? Ooh. You must really think I'm stupid, don't you, kiddies? I don't think about it that much, but uh, give me a day or two and I'll get back to you. I love Jack Nicholson. This broad hired you, not Evelyn Mulray. Yeah? Yeah. Huh. They look the same. I heard it was an accident. Come on, kiddies. Who the hell do you think you're dealing with? Mulray had salt water in his lungs. Ooh. Ooh. What do you think? Evelyn Mulray knocked off her husband in the ocean, then dragged him up to a reservoir because she thought it would look more like an accident? Yes, that's exactly what he thinks happened. What the hell are you talking about? Come on, I'll show you. Come on, Lou, you're in charge. Make a decision. Ooh. Call to action, baby. Yale Burton, he's the new chief. Yeah, I know who he is. Go on. I know what he says. Shut up. Yell Burton says there's irrigation in the valley, and he's been going around making irresponsible accusations all last week. Lou, let's swear out a warrant for her arrest. What the hell are we waiting for? I don't know, some non-circumstantial evidence? Have your client in my office in two hours. And remember, I don't have to let you go. I've got you right now for withholding evidence. Hmm. Where's Mrs. Mulray? Are these her bags? Is she going on a trip? What are you doing? What's going on here? So dust doesn't get everywhere. Well, I'll just have a look around, huh? Not who I wanted to be top of my security team. Yeah, yeah, bad for the glass. Oh, yes. Bad for glass. Salt water, really bad for glass. Salt water. He drowned in that pond. He drowned in that. Salt water? Very, very bad. See? What's that? Huh? Show me glasses. Show me glasses or a wedding ring. The personal effect of his. He drowned in that. Glasses. Just kick it in. I I've been calling you. Yeah. Have you, have you slept? Sure. Have you had lunch? Khan can uh, fix you some. Khan's like the hell I can. Lou? Meet me at 1972 Canyon Drive. Why did you do that? You know any good criminal lawyers? No. Too bad. It was an accident, but his girl is a witness, so you had to shut her up. You don't have the guts to harm her, but you got the money to keep her mouth shut. Yes or no? No! Who is she? And don't give me that crap. Yeah, up. obviously not her sister. I'll tell you the truth. Give me the third version of the truth, sure. She's my daughter. I said I want the truth. She's my sister. She's my daughter. Oh, no, I get it. My daughter, my sister, my daughter, my sister. I, okay, I know this reference. She's my sister and my daughter. Oh. Oh. Oh, your dad sucks. My father and I understand. Or is it too tough for you? He raped you? Not where I saw this going. Wow. Wow. Then what happened? I ran away. To Mexico. No, that's why she speaks Spanish. Hollis came and took care of me. I couldn't see her. I was 15. Oh, cross sucks. Where are you going to take her now? Back to Mexico. Well, you can't take the train, Escobar. I'll be looking for you everywhere. Yeah, because of you. This didn't belong to Hollis. How do you know? He didn't wear bifocals. 
He for sure was wearing them in that presentation. What is it, 1712 Alameda? Do you know where that is? Chinatown. Sure. I like that Khan's going along for the ride. That's fun. Keep it together. Keep the family together. Tell us about it on the way to San Pedro. This is just a random house. Luke, can I ask you a favor? I'd like to bring her out myself. She's not on or nothing. She won't be a problem. How do you know that? But I'll give you three minutes. Just three minutes. Gee, thanks, Luke. Time starts now. Mr. Guinness, come in. Why is there some surprise, Mr. Guinness? Call me Jake. How you doing, Curly? Just sitting down for supper. You care to join us? Uh, no, thanks. Jesus Christ. Uh, can you give me a ride somewhere? Sure, as soon as we eat. We'll... Uh, right now, Curly. It can't wait. I'll tell my wife. Uh, tell her later, girl, huh? Yeah, somehow I don't think she's gonna miss you, bro. Huh? <laughs> Forget it. How would you like to pay me off by taking a couple of passengers to Ensenada? You'd have to leave tonight. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You sure this is okay? Meh. Curly. You've done worse. Ugh, I hate this because I know they're not gonna end up together. I can already feel like the the ending coming. I hate it. Got something I'd like to show you, Mr. Cross. What is it? Obituary column. Can you see all right in this light? I guess I can manage. Look at those bifocals. What does it mean? That you killed Hollis Mulray and you left these. Why are you doing it? The future, Mr. Gitz. The future. Now, where's the girl? I want the only daughter I've got left. Dear Lord, you suck. Uh, Evelyn was lost to me a long time ago. Who do you blame for that, her? I don't blame myself. Of course you don't. Claude, take those glasses from me, will you? Not worth it, Mr. Good to see you again, Claude. You remember night train Claude Mulvihill, don't you, boys? Mr. Cross, these are my associates, Mr. Walsh and Mr. Oh, boy. Get away from her! Get away! Oh, I hope someone hit you with the car. How many years have I got? She's never going to know that. Evelyn. Ooh. Evelyn, put that gun away. Let the police handle this. He owns the police. Get away from her. Him and Biff from uh back to the. Get <laughs> Captain, close the door. He took that bullet like a champ. Like, he sucks, but wow. Worst aim ever. No. Oh, did they get her? Oh, no. Repeats itself. Oh, no! Oh, no! Captain. Get an ambulance. Yeah, that's gonna fix it. And now he's got the- oh my gosh. This is so depressing. Forget it, Jake. It's Chinatown. Take him home. Forget it, Jake. It's Chinatown. Ooh. I was wondering when they were gonna pull that line out. Oh my gosh. Oh. <sighs> wow. Wow. Oh, that is heartbreaking. I mean, what a beautiful, beautiful movie, but my heart, oh my gosh, someone send like brownies and Care Bear hugs. I, oh, I knew they, I knew they weren't gonna end up together. I was hoping they both at least end up live, alive. I'm really glad I saw it. It's so beautiful. It's so heartbreaking. It's so tragic. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful film. 
um totally worth the watch y'all thank you so much for watching along with me i hope i know i'm usually smiling at the end of these i am really glad i saw it it's just I, my heart's a little sad right now my heart's pretty sad <sighs> all right thank you for having me back on criminal content i'll definitely be back if you enjoyed this watch along, give us a big thumbs up and that like, hit that subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you'd like uh, for us to show on the channel in general. If there's anything particular you want me to react to, give us a follow on the Instagrams, criminal content, follow me at Nicolette Pilar. And thank y'all for being my movie going family. I'll see you next time. <laughs>